earlier tonight, we had our monthly remnant meeting. Now, we didn't go live, and I quit going live because I didn't want it to turn into just another sermon, because that's not what that is. The remnant is to unite. It's for men and women who are looking around them, and they don't see a lot of people like them. You know, I've said this many times, but if you live in a town of 10,000, there's maybe three or four like you where you desire to be about the things of God and be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. But everybody else is saying that, but they're not actually doing that. So we meet. The Bible says that we are scattered. And for the last several years, I've been traveling around and um, as well as going every first Saturday of the month in Missouri to just meet people and unite that remnant. Well, tonight we met and I didn't go live because I just wanted to film it and I'll have a video coming out um, later because it's it's not about just me giving a sermon. That's not what that is. There's there's already too much of that. What this is, is trying to figure out the next steps. What is it we do now that we recognize who we are and God, what do we do? Because if there's nobody around us like us, what do we do? So we addressed three questions. We addressed what is it that God's asking you to do? What is it the church should be doing? And finally, how do we put this into action? How do we start walking forward? Because, you know, I've been with groups of people where they go through the books of Act, book of Acts, but there actually is no Acts. Nobody's actually doing anything. So that's what this is. We prayed for the Holy Spirit to come upon us. And then we ask, well, what is it God is asking us to do? And now, now do that thing. So what I'm imploring with you is between now and the next time we meet, ask God, what is it you want me to do? And then do that thing. You know, something else that came up in the video is uh, as I traveled west a few years ago, one of my stops was Montana. Well, now Joe that runs Standing in the Gap Ministry is wanting to open up a Standing in the Gap in Montana exactly where I met people at. Montana is a big state. And for those of you that are interested in, in prison ministry, feeding the hungry, clothed the naked, taking care of the woods, the orphans, that is coming to Montana. Pray about that. If that's you, uh, we will be having a meeting there soon. Um, and we'll continue to meet in Missouri. But it, it's, you know, if you just want to go see a show, the Sunday show, throw a few bucks on the plate. There's plenty of places for that. That's not what this is. What this is, is actually doing the work. So I just want everybody to take a moment. And if that's you, if you are of the remnant, to pray for that spirit to come in and then say, well, what is it you want me to do? And then do that thing. Don't delay. Do that thing. And if coming to Missouri is what God is calling you to do, come to Missouri. If going to Montana is what God is calling you to do, go to Montana. If he's calling you to stay put, just be silent and wait. Then stay put, be silent and wait. If he's saying, go outside and go feed that guy, well, go outside and go feed that guy. We have to stop talking about the things of God and we have to start doing the things of God right now. Not tomorrow, right now. So please take a moment. God, what is it you want me to do? And then go do that thing. And if it's go to Montana, I'll keep you informed on when we're going to be there. And that whole ministry, it's not just we're going to Montana. We're starting a ministry in Montana. It's what God called Joe to do for Stay in the Gap. And I happen to just meet a bunch of men and women who want to be about our father's business at that exact same spot. So that's what we're going to do. Um, any thoughts or insight, definitely put that below. But whatever God is asking you to do, just go do that thing right now. Do not delay. I want to take a moment to thank Jake's Medical for supporting this channel. Having emergency antibiotics or your chronic meds on hand is one of the best preps you could possibly make. And Jace will provide you a year supply from a U.S. doctor and a U.S. pharmacy. And those are prescribed to you. These aren't pet medications. And besides, pet medications aren't going to provide for your chronic meds, your blood pressure, your heart condition, anything that you could possibly think of. Jace Medical will make sure you have that on hand in case a storm just puts the power out, in case supply chains break down, whatever the case may be, it's the most important prep you can make.